This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Lesson 21 from the Express course or Lesson 16 from Course E. Functions with the Harvester Puzzle 12. Challenge Puzzle. Awesome. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. I am definitely ready. Challenge. Use everything that you've learned so far to solve this puzzle in 19 blocks or less. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's see. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of functions. Pick along the path. Okay. Check square for corn. Okay. And then get all pumpkins. Okay. Oh, and so this is similar to what we've done before, right? So pick along the path is going to run the other functions. So pick along the path. Repeat until there are pumpkins. Uh, so we're going to... As long as there's not a pumpkin, we're first going to check for corn, and then we're going to move forward. So I would check for corn here, then I'm going to move forward, hit the bottom. Here there's no pumpkins, right? So then I'm going to check the square. I repeat, zoop, are there any pumpkins? Nope, no pumpkins right here. So I'm going to check the square for corn again. And then if there is corn, I'll pick it. Well, let's see. Check square for corn here. It'd be easier to step. So let's go ahead and functions, uh, pick along the path, ask that function to run. Let's see what this does. This will show me each line of code run. So oh, pick along the path, that runs this, repeat until there are pumpkins. So I check if there's pumpkins, no pumpkins. So it should check square for corn and go into this. And now this runs, if there is corn. So now I'm saying, is there any corn? Nope, there's no corn. So I will not pick corn, there's no corn. Is, if corn, no corn. So I hit the bottom of this, go back up here, and move forward. Yep, now after move forward, I'm going to hit the bottom of this and check if there's pumpkins. I'm not standing on a pumpkin, so I'll check the square for corn. And now I'm back into check square for corn. Is there any corn? There's not, so this is false. I won't run that. Hit the bottom of this, and I'll move forward. Now I'm going to say, are there any pumpkins? There are pumpkins, so I'll stop repeating the code, and I'll go down to this, get all pumpkins. That will run this code. Zoop. Okay, while there are pumpkins, and there's three of them right now, pick a pumpkin. Hits the bottom of this. Are there still pumpkins? Yep, there's two more. So I will pick a pumpkin. Hit the bottom of this. Are there still pumpkins? Yes, there's one more. So I'll do this. Pick a pumpkin. Boop. Hit the bottom of that. Go back up here. This function's done. So I'll look for another line of code here. There isn't any, so the program would stop. I just step through it. I'm now in Get All Pumpkins. And now I'm done with the program. Yep, okay. So that got us picking one side of this square. And there are kind of like two squares. Okay. Square, two squares. Okay, so there's kind of like two squares. So they want us to use less than 19 blocks, but we're already using 13. So there's no way I can just say pick a long turn, pick a long turn. Let's see what it would look like. Oh, they only want us to use turn. Okay, and again, I would turn right here, and then I would say pick along or pick along the path again because I want to run all that. And what's nice is this function is using the other ones. I want to use all of that and then I would want to turn right again and then I'd want to, because I'd be down here, go down this one. So notice I'm going to repeat, right? A square is going to be the same on each side. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Let's, um, to save time, let's make our own function that even calls these functions. All right, functions do something. And so remember, we were making a function called pick square or square, as I was calling it, pick square, I think. Let's go ahead and do that again. I'm going to call it pick square. Okay. And so now to pick a square, I'm going to call pick along the path four times, which is what I would need to do here.
turn right, action. Oh, I can only use, okay. So I need to do that four times. So I'm gonna loop, repeat, because the square has four sides. So I wanna call pick along the path four times, and then each time I'm done, I'm turning right so I can do the next side of the square. Okay, so now I can do a function and call pick square, which will run all of this, pick along the path four times, and then turn right, hits the bottom, so I'll pick a whole square. Now, once I do that, let's see what I do. I'll be up here, I'm about to turn right, and what if I action, I have another turn, I have another turn left, because I used a loop, what if I turn right here, I'll be facing down. How though do I get all the way to the bottom, to this new square, and run my square, or pick square again. Well, I don't need to, right? I don't need to force myself to the bottom. I think I can run it right away, right? I can run, pick square here, hit my 19 blocks and be done because pick square, it will go zoop. I mean, it will go zoop, repeat four times, pick along the path, which zoop, repeat until there are pumpkins. Well, that means I will keep chucking for corn and moving forward till I'm all the way down here which is going to do most of the work for us. I don't need to tell it individually to move forward because I'll keep going until there's a pumpkin. And then I'll turn, go to a pumpkin, right? Then I'm going to turn, go to this pumpkin. Then I'm going to turn, and again, I'm going to keep moving till there's a pumpkin. So I should go, even though this square is uneven, keep going past this to here to get the pumpkin. Let's give it a shot. But a uh, challenge puzzle. Psh, we're pros. Awesome. Onward.